Hi there everybody and uh, welcome to another one of my videos. In this one I have a, a Mercedes um, C-Class. This is a 2007. Um, I'm gonna be changing the rear brake pads and discs. Um, but I'm gonna start by um, getting the bonnet open and just opening the um, the brake fluid reservoir which is sitting there. So I just want to get that open and also just have a look how much fluid is in there. Now that reservoir is, uh, is, is just above the max so I'm not sure whether somebody topped it up. Well, somebody must have topped it up a bit, um, but um, as the the thing is that as, as the pads wear down, the fluid goes down, and um, so um, as the pads uh, wear down, the fluid goes down, and um, sometimes people uh, can see that the fluid is gone down, maybe just above the minimum and then uh, decide to top it up but um, the only issue with that is that when you come to change the the pads is that you have to push the piston back to fit the new thick pads in and then the fluid comes out as you push the piston back so um, I think um, just in case you can wrap something around here I mean, the idea is that if if some uh, fluid comes out, um, it will get absorbed by the paper, and hopefully not go down on, into the metal bodywork, because that fluid can be a little bit um, corrosive, um, um, and in, if some goes down, then you'll have to wash it um, or clean the area. But it's a bit difficult to get down there, so you'll have to wash it with. Uh, pressure washer or some brake fluid and, and make sure you get all the bits out. Um, well, with that said, if you're working outside and it's windy, make sure uh, maybe you cover that a little bit as well so nothing goes in there. Um, I'm in the garage so should be okay. I'm gonna get the car up now and remove the wheels and uh, gonna tackle the discs and pads. Okay, so with the wheel off, um, for loosening the the disc, there's a little um, screw here, uh, Torx screw. I'm using a T30. We're gonna need to loosen that, and this will be a good idea if somebody can press the brake for you. Um, well, sometimes you can loosen it if you just give it. Um, a little blow like that sometimes these get a little bit really tight and corroded so just bear that in mind um, now um, we have a spring here just need to remove that as well Okay, with that off, we're going to remove some um, Allen, Allen bolts that are holding the caliper in place. For that, I'm using a 7mm um, Allen key. I'm using this one here because my socket won't fit because it's touching this. Um, so you, you can use um, something similar or um, an Allen key that is, is bent down. But I just can't find mine at the moment, so I'm gonna have to do with that. 
Now, before you can put that in there, there's a little cup, which I already removed. I'm just gonna show you this one, because there's two of them. So, you just push it. It's like a little dust cup. It just comes out like that. So for this Allen key, I need a seven mil spanner. And uh, that is a, it's a tiny little spanner. So I'm just gonna use another one to get a bit of more fo extra force on it. So I'm just gonna wedge it in there. Okay. So I just managed to loosen that. Okay, so that one's off. Now we just do the same with the top one here. For that I can use the actual I can use the wrench I mean Okay. Now uh, I'm gonna use my screwdriver here just to wedge it against the disc or the pad. Um, we can pull this out a little bit now, but I just wanna make use of to push the piston back. So I'm just taking uh, advantage of the Okay. Just gonna put this to one side now. Just be careful not to put too much stress on the uh, brake, uh, bra I mean on the brake pipe. Um, now we need to remove, so these are the parts. Now these parts, <laughs> you may see that they're pretty much brand new. Um, the reason I'm changing the parts and the discs is because uh, this car um, it's been it's been sold and um, we're gonna put new discs so I can't really reuse the old parts which are quite new also um, the other part is just there you just need to pull it out it's pressed into the caliper Just basically clamped in there. I have an 18 mil to open this. This can get these bolts get a little bit corroded and it's a bit hard to fit the socket. But eventually it fits in there and hopefully I can get I'm just using a power bar to loosen this. Once you loosen them a bit, it'll be a lot easier to.
get your ratchet in there. And take it. Clearly I'm not having a lot of luck with, uh, with room here, but I'm gonna use a smaller uh, socket. Okay, so I managed to get that off. I'm just gonna wire brush these areas here um, with this but just before I do that we're now um, able to just able to get the disc We'll just give it a little... Okay, so that's the disc off. Make sure your uh, handbrake is not on, because otherwise the, uh, the shoes here will be holding the disc in place. And I'm just gonna rinse that with some uh, brake fluid cleaner. I guess you can inspect the condition of your brake shoes at the back. This is for handbrake. Which these are okay. Okay, so I have my new uh, disc here. This is a TRW. No, you may notice that um, this area here is black. Um, some of that paint is gone around the disc, just a little bit. So we're just gonna brush it off with uh, some emery paper or something.
just put in the little Torx screw. Okay, that's our disc in there. Now I'm uh, just gonna brush off the caliper mount before I put it back in there. I'm just going to apply a little bit of copper grease in the areas where the pads will sit. These are the brake pads I'm using as well, TRW GDB1738. Um, we're also going to wire brush the caliper here, just a little bit, just to clean the dust off. Be careful not to damage the little rubber that is around the piston. Also, just check the condition of it. So, before we fit the caliper back, just make sure you tighten these bolts. Make sure they are nice and tight. And um, I just applied a little bit of uh, copper grease to the piston in here. And we can get our pad and just uh, we need to push it in there basically okay like so and then we can fit the caliper in there um, we can remove this uh, these bolts here and uh, just give them a clean as well
okay I just brush that off with a wire brush just put a little bit of copper crease on that okay just quickly here my battery is dying I got the bolts on got the little dust covers on this one and this one and uh, last but not least just get the little spring in there um, sometimes can be a little bit fiddly my camera battery died um, but basically um, just a matter of um, to finish it off was to tighten the allen key bolts here uh, with your 7 mil allen um, and the top one put the little dust covers on and the spring the spring uh, this one is not too difficult to fit back on it's fairly easy um, and uh, we're pretty much done from this end um, obviously um, I will do the other side but the other side I'm not going to film as is the same uh, procedure um, in some models you may have a, a brake pad sensor here at the back and that just plugs in in there but you will have another bit of um, another plug another wire here where, where that plugs into so um, in this particular model none of the sides have a sensor only the front um, and uh, the last bit will be to make sure your um, brake fluid um, is at a good level if it's if it's overflown um, you may need to just uh, drain drain it a little bit you can suck some um, some brake fluid with a syringe um, or you could uh, um, where you could bleed the brakes from this uh, point here you you need to loosen this little screw and put a pipe in there and then get someone to pump the brakes a little bit and then close this off uh, but for that I think it'll be uh, better to check out another video if you wanted to bleed the brakes um, in any other case it's best to suck some of the if it's too much um, brake fluid in there just suck it up uh, take it out and uh, and then make sure it's uh, it's at the max um, it depends on how your brake pads are at the front but at least you know the rear ones are brand new and and that's it and then you close the reservoir and before you drive off um, make sure you press on the brake pedal um, as it will probably go in a little bit because we push this back so there will be a little bit of play here um, so anyway I hope this video helps and thanks for watching